What's up, people? This is your boy, Rob Lito, man. I'm about to bring you the Trinidad Espirito series number two. Stay tuned. What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Rob Lito, man. And I am bringing you the Trinidad Espirito series number two. The origin is from Nicaragua. The factory is from AJ Fernandez. The rapper is Nicaraguan. The filler is Nicaraguan. The binder is Nicaraguan. I love Nicaraguan. The ring gauge is seven and a half by 40. The price is single. It can cost you $11. A box of 20 of the Fandedor. Fandero. I'm just going to call it Lancero, but it's said Fandendor. I got to work on my Spanish, y'all. Please be patient. But this is the Lancero size. And a box of this can run you between $198. So on that note, let's cut. Let's light. Let's smoke. Let's cut and light and smoke. Try to not cut it too much. So I'm gonna get good, nice, even cut. All right, good, 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 good. So let this puppy up. Yuck! I got a leaf in my mouth. Be patient with me, y'all. I'm trying to really like this. These leaves come loose. I've been human over this thing for a minute now. Off top, good earth, nice aroma. No pepper yet, which I'm not expecting right now since I just light it. Ooh, right through the nose. That's why I got that pepper. Yeah, this is, this is about to be a good smoke right here. Now, truth be honest, this is the first time I ever smoked a Trinidad. I smoked H. Hutchman's, H. Hutch, H. Upman's. I smoked Cohiba's. Uh, Pretty much anything that's pretty much cohesion that I can get my hands on, I did pretty much smoked it. But right now, I never really actually smoked one of these. I've seen these, but I never paid that much attention to it. And I don't see too many bloggers, except for like the high end bloggers like Lee Mac or Ron Real or Cigar Obsession. Um, or if I'm correct, I think Sisters of Smoke has, I think she smoked this. I think, don't quote me on it. Not this particular one, but I know she smoked the Trinidad. All right now I'm just getting some smoothness. No pepper. Decent earth. Yeah, a little bit of earth. I'm liking how this is burning. I'm really liking how it's burning. I'm liking how the mascara is starting to, it's hard to develop. But this is so far so good. Wanna know how's everyone's day been? So how's your week going so far? Mine's well, doing pretty well for now. Since is, I'm doing this at Tuesday at 11 o'clock at night, Pacific Standard Time. So you won't see this till Wednesday. 
but I had to get this out because I had this cigar in my humidor and I just it, uh, it's been itching me to smoke this cigar and right now my rabbit air is about to go off so let me get down to the two-third of the cigar and I'll get right back with you okay I am back I just have to apologize. I misread the wrong notes. So let's start this all over again. Once again, this is the Trinidad Espirito series number two. Now the blender is AJ Fernandez and Rafael Nodal from, of Alatis, USA. The mixture of the Brazilian Nicaraguan this is a mixture of the Brazilian and Nicaraguan. The series number one was released a year ago. This is the series number two. The wrapper is Brazilian. The binder is Nicaraguan. And the filler is Brazilian and Nicaraguan. I made a mistake. I'm trying to get these notes right and everything else. And that was my fault. So right now I'm at the two third of the cigar. And I have to say that. I'm getting good pepper, good earth, a hint of coffee. Nice smoothness. Great cigar. The price is still the same. Like I said, the price of a single is 11. A box of these can run you for like 198 of a box of 20. Once again, I cannot lie, the cigar is smoking very good. Yes, you see a piece of the leaf then fell off of it. I think it's because when I cut it, I probably cut it too sharp. So yeah, but it's still holding. I mean, the construction of the cigar is very good. This part right here was my fault. I cut it too sharp and that piece of the leaf came off. But, I'm getting that good taste of that Nicaraguan binder. And I gotta say, I'm enjoying it. Even though my cigar is not on point, but it's a good still smoking cigar. And once again, Blenders AJ Fernandez and Rafael Nodal. It came together and just came, came together and made a great cigar. I love the band of this cigar. Very colorful, very festive. And again, this cigar is still holding its weight, even though I have some flaws and it's still smoking good. So I'm gonna smoke this down a little bit more, give you my results of it. And I'll get right back with you. Okay, I'm back. I'm down to the third third of this, this cigar, down to the nub. Gotta say, this cigar is a, is a very good cigar, even though I had some compli complications with the wrapper, which was my fault. But again, the pepper has really kicked in. Earth is really kicked in. Coffee is fading down. Um, there's a slight taste of cinnamon I do taste, but it's not strong cinnamon. It just, you taste it, you know it's there but it's mostly coffee, earth, and pepper. Is this a Rob Leo worthy cigar? Yes. Is this a five pack? Yes. Is this a box? If you got the cash, go get it. Also wanna give a shout out to Cigar Club of Sacramento. It's one of the places I go to buy my cigars at. So if you're ever in the Sacramento area, please stop by Cigar Club of Sacramento. Great place to go purchase cigars. Customer service is great. People are great. And if you want to sit there and smoke your cigar, you can. And on that note, this is it for right now. Thank you for stopping by. Please click like and subscribe. 
and I'll see you on the next round. Peace.